So I've got another unboxing from the Hookup Tackle. But first, before we go through everything in this box, I just want to talk about why I changed my channel name. I got a question in my last video asking what happened to Dirty Dirge Fishing, and honestly, nothing. Nothing is going to be changing on my channel. It's going to be the exact same. The main reason why I decided to change my name from Dirty Dirge Fishing to just simply Dirge is because I'm thinking just maybe Dirsch will be a little bit more memorable to people. I'm hoping when they go through their recommended videos and they see a Dirsch video, it'll kind of stick out in their mind a little bit more. And another reason too, I was actually telling my buddy about my YouTube channel at work and he was like, oh, that sounds like a porno or something. And the whole Dirty Dirsch actually originated years ago when I was in high school. I was really good at sports and back in the day it was cool to say like, oh, you're so dirty at this. Or if somebody had like a cool pair of shoes, they'd be like, oh, those shoes are so dirty. And my nickname was also Dirsch. So since I was really good at sports, people just called me Dirty Dirsch. That's where it originated. But to be honest with you guys, I haven't used the word dirty like that since high school. So to be honest, it just didn't really fit me anymore. To be honest, I kind of grew out of it. I'm still only gonna be posting fishing related content. But now since we got that board out of the way, I ordered quite a few things from the hookup tackle this time. It came out to about $170. And believe it or not, they fit all $170. worth of baits in this box here. But just to make it easier on myself, I'm just gonna pick right from the top. I'm not gonna go in any particular order or anything like that. So starting off, we have the eight inch Savage Gear 3D Pulse Tail Trout. This bait is four ounces and this is their slow sink. Now right on the package right there, it says it's scented and it's definitely scented I can't really tell what it smells like it's almost like a Hawaiian punch or grape yeah I don't know kind of a fruity flavor and when Savage Gear originally made this bait a couple years ago, it only came with that big J hook on the top right there. But the newer ones, they've added this whole back treble hook here. And this whole back treble hook comes completely out of the bait. And once I saw Savage Gear add that to their bait, in my opinion, that made this bait almost a no-brainer. I believe this bait was only $20. So this bait is not going to break the bank if you're looking to get into big swim baits. It's wedge style tail. When you reel it through the water, it's not going to have this big wide kicking action. It's just going to be super subtle, just like this. So this bait is going to be super good in cold water. That is the Savage Gear 3D Pulse Tail Trout in the 8 inch size. Now moving right along to one of my favorite frogs on the market. This is a Jackal Kara frog. And the cool thing about the Jackal Kara frogs are that they kind of have like a small 2.5 inch profile but they still have that half an ounce weight to them. So even though it's a small bait, it's still easy to walk and cast. I'll take this one out of the package just to show you guys why this one's a little bit different from a normal frog. All right, so first glance, just looks like a normal frog. But if you look at the back end of it, it comes with these two little flashers on the back. Which is gonna make a little bit of noise, a little bit of flash, some vibration. Just something a little bit different. 
fishing like sparse lily pads or maybe right above grass, this would be a great option to get the bass's attention a little bit better with those two little dangly things. And this was actually the last S2 beet color they had. This color is called Pinky Glitter. Now moving on to one of my favorite soft plastic companies. This is Berkeley Powerbait Max Scent. And this is the Deworm in Mimizu color or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it. M-I-M-I-Z-U. However you pronounce that, Mimizu. And just like right on the package, it says to drop shot it. That's exactly what I'm gonna be doing with it. And to be honest with you, I did think this bait was gonna be slightly bigger. So I might actually throw this in my ice fishing box. Now moving on to the Mega Bass Deep X 300. This color is called Eastern Chartreuse. And I mean, I live in the Northeast, so I feel like that name is kind of fitting. And this bait here is gonna dive just to about 17 feet under the water. And what's cool about this bait here, and why, in my opinion, it kind of sets itself apart from other deep diving crankbaits, they have something called a multi-way balancer system in here, which basically just means when you cast this out, this bait is basically gonna dive straight down to that 17 foot range. Now, unlike some other deep diving crankbaits, that crankbait might reach its max depth, like, halfway back through the cast. So you're really only fishing for the fish at that max depth for only a few yards. So you're really in the target range of the fish way longer with this Mega Bass lure. It is gonna be more expensive than other deep diving crankbaits, but in my opinion, it's worth it. Plus Mega Bass is just my favorite company anyway. Now moving on, I got a soft plastic paddle tail swim bait. This is the Mega Bass Spark Shad in three inches. And this is their Lemon Shad color. Now these are a super versatile swim bait. You can rig them really any way you want to. But the way I'm going to be rigging them is I'm basically going to be putting these on an Okashira jig head. An eighth of an ounce. Now this is a limited edition bait from Duo Realis. This is the Pencil 85. It's to celebrate their 25th anniversary. When I saw this, I thought it was so cool. And I mean, since I collect lures, I kind of had to get the limited edition lure. The color is called Hoku Sai. I believe that's how it's pronounced. And that's just named after the Japanese artist who created that kind of wave picture right there. Now moving on, I picked up a Mega Bass Knuckle LD, and this is just a square bill crankbait. And with that circuit board lip, you're going to get a little bit more durability, and you're going to get a little bit more deflection when you hit off rocks or logs or something like that. I'm so tired. I worked 7 o'clock last night to 7 o'clock in the morning, and all I want to do is go to bed but I figured I would throw this video together real quick for you guys. Plus I really had to announce the winner of that giveaway. Moving on, I picked up another bag of soft plastics. This is the OSP Dole Life Stick 3.5 in black color. Now this is just kind of like a little fluke style bait. You can drop shot it, put it on a little Ned Rig, put it on a little ball head. You even could put this on the back of a chatterbait. Moving on, I picked up more soft plastics. These are the Mega Bass Kamuri Curlies. I picked up a pink color, and then I picked up Katakuchi, I believe it's called. Yeah, Katakuchi, which is basically just like a bluegill flash color. And again, I'm just going to be throwing these on maybe like a little quarter ounce ball head or something like that and winding it super slow back to me. And then I picked up some terminal tackle. I picked up some owner flashy swimmers. One aught, eighth of an ounce, and then six aught, three eighths of an ounce. With which I'm just going to be throwing some swim baits on. 
nothing fancy with these. You guys know what underspins are. Now moving on to the last thing in the box. This is the OSP Mylar Minnow in the 3.5 inch. But I think drop shotting this bait is going to be super good for smallmouth. River I mainly fish. The fish in there all feed on tiny little minnow. You can see the tiny little minnows jumping out of the water when the bass are chasing them. And this right here, in my opinion, is going to be a perfect imitation of those little minnows. So that is it for today's unboxing from the Hookup Tackle. I have a walk-in store, but that's all the way in Arizona and I live in New Hampshire, so I have to buy all my lures from them online. Which might not be a bad thing because otherwise I might be broke if I lived close to the hookup tackle. But now on to announcing the winner of the giveaway. And I just have to say, I could not believe the amount of comments and thumbs up I got on my giveaway video. As long as Megabass keeps dropping their respect series colors, then I'm going to keep doing these giveaways. That it's so cool that Megabass releases rare colors every month. And I really want to share that with the people who watch my videos. I think that'd be really cool. Stay tuned for a giveaway every single month with the limited edition respect series color. Get into uh, picking the winner. So just to go over what the giveaway was, this is a Megabass Vision 110. And this is one of the rarest colors that Megabass has come out with. They came out with this color one time only for the Pop X back in the early 2000s. And they re-released this color only for the month of June. The winner of this month's giveaway is Mark Welch. So I do believe YouTube doesn't have a messenger system, so I can't really hit you up on YouTube. So Mark Welch, you're actually going to have to hit me up either on Instagram, you can find me at Nate Andersh, or if you don't have an Instagram, you can just hit me up by email at nateandersh93 at gmail.com. Either or is fine, doesn't matter to me, but just send me a place to send this lore, whether it be your address or a PO box. So Mark Welch, congratulations, you're the winner of this pretty sweet bait didn't win this month there's always next month so that is it for this morning thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it peace